everyone. Sorry about my hair. It was up in a ponytail and I took it down and I don't feel like trying to make it look nice. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, I have five kids and a million animals. I don't have time to sit here and beautify myself, right? Well, maybe I do. I just don't know until. But if you guys came here for the title of the reading, then this probably is for you. There is somebody, I already did a short to this, so I've already pulled some cards. There is somebody that considers you their divine feminine. You're the yin to the yang, you know, you're their other half. This is, this could be a twin flame or a really, really strong soulmate. But this person, like, really adores you. But whatever it is that they're going through at the moment, it's like their heart is, like, on lockdown. Like, they're being, like, held back. You see how the cinder block is here? Even on part one with the escapism, like, this person could have tried to run away from their problems. They could be locked up. They could be on house arrest, whatever this is. They're having a difficult time getting rid of things that no longer serve them. This could be maybe a relationship, maybe an old way of doing things, maybe a certain lifestyle that they're living. It's like this person just wants to run away from their problems, but like that's never going to help them because those problems are always going to remain there. This person has a lot of work to do, and it's like the way that they feel like they're just going to like stop this is just like run away from everything, run away from everyone, you know, but that's not the case. Like there's a lot of work that they have to do. And I feel like it's too hard for them. They don't want to do it, so they just want to run away. Like, especially if this is somebody that, like, is in another connection, they don't want to tell the other person that they're not happy with them. They're, or they don't want to try to go through, like, the breakup process. It's like they wish that they could just, like, run away instead. It's like they don't want to face the truth. I also feel like this person doesn't want to hurt anybody, you know? And it's like this person, I, I don't even know if they're really feeling their emotions at the moment. To me, it kind of feels like they are kind of putting their heart on hold. And it's like all they're focused on is just running away. You have smooth talker works, deceptive words to trick. This person could be a little bit of a manipulator. And then you have intimidation. Either they're an intimate... Um, Either they're a manipulator or they're dealing with somebody, maybe a third party, that's trying to scare them from walking away from them. Okay? They could have been with somebody who's too hot to handle and now they can't get away from this person. It's like they thought it was greener on the other side and now they found out it's not. Whatever lifestyle they're living in or whatever cycle they're in is not healthy for them. There's a lot of fear that is triggered for them. You have irresponsible, careless unreliable like you may see that this person is like very destructive like you may see this person differently than what you saw them in the past bougie i'm so fancy i don't know this person may feel like they're kind of like hot shit and you're just like you're not you know you may see this person as irresponsible and i feel like you know that this person needs some time some some time to heal and then you have seduction like, this person could have, like, really, it was, like, a big, a massive-ass flirter. Like, they could have always used, like, sexual, like, things to try to, like, get to you. Like, this person could always came up to you that way. I definitely feel like there's a third-party interference. Now, if the third party is not another person, the third party could literally be the lifestyle that they're living. Being in and out of jail, doing all the wrong things, hanging with the wrong people. You have lightning, okay? So there was some type of epiphany that this person has had, I mean, that you've had, and you transformed your life, and now you see things completely different than what you saw it in the past. Like, you see this person as somebody who was just trying to seduce you or just looking for somebody to hook up with, or there was a lot of temptation, there was a lot of lust here, you know? And then you have coffin. So I feel like you guys put the nail in the coffin. You guys just were like, you know what, this is it. You got three cards talking about transformation and change and, you know, healing and progress. And so I just feel like you guys have totally learned from this by the book. You guys are doing things the right way. And if this person can't do things the right way for you, you guys are turning your heads on this person. You're turning your back on this person here and now and milk and honey. There's something that's coming in your life right now that's bringing a lot of abundance. Okay, and so like maybe some of you guys may feel like you don't even need this person. Um, like maybe you thought that you needed this person or you really thought that this was your person at one point in time. But it's like I said, whatever's happened in the past has completely changed or shifted your point of view. And now you see this person completely different than what you were seeing them before. This could be a very strong soulmate. Okay, but there, I feel like um, 
There's also a new soulmate coming in for you. Look, as I say that, you have Cupid's arrow. So you're you're being sent in a new person here. Okay. Love is coming. The hangman in reverse. And my deck is in okay. It's not upside down. The hangman in reverse tells me that things are gonna start picking up pace. Okay, no longer taking forever like maybe your love life was really slow or lacking it wasn't a lot going on but you have a soulmate coming in for you the two of cups the soulmate card the cupid's arrow this this person sent from spirit okay the five of pentacles the three of pentacles and the emperor you're taking full control you got pisces and aries energy here you're taking full control over yourself over your love life i feel if you guys had abandonment issues like you're working on that too you know, you're putting yourself back together. Some of you guys, um, maybe, some of you guys may have had some issues with money in the past, but you're working on that, and that's also changing too as well. Like, it's either abandonment issues or you guys were having problems with money, right? But it's like that's no longer the case because you guys are taking action and taking full responsibility of yourself, your life, and full control over everything now. I feel like in the past, maybe you didn't really feel like you had so much control, but you do now. Like you shifted your whole perspective, your whole viewpoint. You went from the five of pentacles to the emperor and the ace of pentacles. Okay. So whatever this is from your past that you're walking away from can't even compare to the things that you guys are about to be receiving in your life now. Okay. There's potential for a very um, abundant future for you. Some of you guys are focused on your career, opening up your own business, maybe entrepreneurial stuff, right? The sun, another part of abundance. Leo energy here now, and the death card, Scorpio energy. You guys have totally shifted your focus. You've shifted your life. you shifted everything that you've been doing. You're no longer the same that you used to be, right? And so, because you're no longer the same, now you got a lot of things in your life that are brand new that are trying to come in for you. I feel like you have been taking a lot of time to meditate and to really get your mind right and to think things through. And it's just like, I feel like you're like so focused on having a stable future that like love may not even be on your mind. Like your focus is on your career, your money, your home life, right? And because your focus is not on love, that's why love is coming in for you. Because you guys are not yearning for or looking every day like, where's my person? Or do I have a person? I feel like you guys are not even in that energy. You guys are just like, okay, you know what? I'm focusing on, like, my life, right? Not who's going to love me and who's going to see me for who I truly am. It's like you guys are fully taking full responsibility of your life and just saying, like, fuck it. Like, it, it is what it is. If it comes, cool. If it doesn't, whatever, you know? And like I said, now you guys are opening this new door for this new soulmate to come in. The King of Pentacles again. It was just on the bottom of my deck. And the Seven of Swords. So there's somebody that's coming in for you that you don't even see coming. Okay? If, I don't know. I just feel like you guys may be walking down the road. And then, like, you bump into each other or something like this. and then there, Or you guys are in a store. Or you're at a restaurant. And it's like you guys see each other. And it just starts from there. Like, I feel like you're going to be outside when you meet this person. The fool as I say that. You could be traveling when you meet this person. You're definitely going to be out and about doing something. All right? It's going to be, it's like you guys are going to be led to go to a certain place at the, at the same time. So this way you guys are able to meet up. The three of cups. That's literally a reunion, a soulmate reunion. And you have a soulmate right here. And you have clean it up and new life. You guys have literally got rid of your old life. Okay? There's nothing it's like nothing's the same that it was not even the way that you guys think <clears throat> so who's this person coming in you got the high priestess which is a taurus energy the king of swords and the king of cups you are going to see this person for who they truly are right away all right right away you're going to recognize that there is something important about this person Okay, you're going to be feeling it. You're going to be thinking about this person a lot. You might be dreaming about this person a lot. You also may dream about this person before they come in. So this way, it's kind of like spirit's way of getting you guys prepared for this. Okay, so and yeah, the queen of wands. 
This is somebody who's very, very powerful, and they're very spiritual. I don't know if this person does magic with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands, but this person could be somebody who is, they could be a boss, or they could be like a mother or a father or something, like maybe they have kids, or they would be like a really good role model for kids. The Empress, do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is somebody that's coming in who's already whole and ready within themselves. There's somebody who knows how to think first before they speak. Um, the King of Swords can be a little bit blunt, but with the King of Cups next to it, it's like, I think this person takes time to think about how other people are going to feel before they go ahead and say it. They have a lot of energy to them, too, as well. Like, you guys may get a lot of goosebumps or... Like when you go to touch each other, you guys might like shock each other or something like that when you try to grab each other's hands. There's a lot of energy between the both of you and it's felt straight away, straight away, okay? And you have the Six of Swords. You guys are leaving rocky waters to go to calmer shores. And um, once you walk away from whatever this is, which I feel like you've already done this, like whatever it was at the beginning of the reading, I feel like you guys have let something go or you're letting it go. And... This is the thing that's opening the door for this new person to come in. Huh? The world. You've, you've closed this chapter out and now you're about to like start a new story or write a new story. You have the five of wands. It was not easy to get here. Okay? Some of you guys were battling yourselves. Like it was very hard for you guys to heal from something. Okay? But you are so wise. You're so much stronger now. And I feel like your soul is just like growing and growing and it's like I don't see you guys going backwards at all. All of these cards are facing towards the future. Okay, the two of wands, even him, he's looking towards the future, like in front of him. He's not, you know, he has his back turned. Do you see what I'm saying? It's like you guys turned your back on the past and now you guys are totally focused on the future. And the four of pentacles like you guys are investing wisely now and the temperance card you're investing a lot of time and energy into your healing you've been taking your time you've been shifting things around and like i said i just feel like there's a new energy to you and the energy that you guys are in is the energy that you guys are going to bring be bringing in this new soulmate in and i feel like you guys are more of an uplifting energy for the people i'm reading today for whoever this resonates for it's like you guys are going to be manifesting in somebody who's kind of like you, right? What do you need to know when this person, when you meet this person? The world and the six of wands. Have fun. Enjoy the time that you can with this person. This person may be somebody that loves to travel or get out and see the world and see different things. I'm here in zoos. This person may like animals. They may like to go to the zoos or aquariums and things like this. I feel like this person loves to travel and get outside and, you know, maybe, like, go to circuses and stuff like this. Like, to me, this is somebody that loves to have fun. Okay, so this is not going to be, like, a boring connection where this person wants to stay in the house and play video games all the time or go and get involved in things that they shouldn't. No, this is somebody that loves to enjoy life and loves to share fun times with other people and loves to share their experiences. The Nine of Cups, like this is like a wish granted for you, okay? If you've been wishing for like somebody that knows what love is and knows how to treat you, like that's what you're getting. And, and this person's very fun. You have the Nine of Swords. I feel like you guys are stressing about this. The Nine of Pentacles. It might be really hard for you guys to open up to somebody new. You got three nines back to back to back. The only one I don't see is the Nine of Wands, which is the Wounded Warrior, which is a good thing because I feel like this person that's coming in, they're not wounded. You, on the other hand, I feel like you are at a point to where you've been independent for a while that it may be hard for you guys to kind of like get back into like the dating game and to open yourselves back up again because I do feel like you're very independent, you're very strong-minded, you don't need anybody to be happy, you don't need anybody to succeed. If anything, you're just looking for somebody to come in and help compliment you. You know what I mean? Compliment your life, make things better. And I feel like that's exactly what you guys are getting. Like, this is somebody who you can rely on. That you would look up to. This is also somebody who, they could be in the public eye. The Two of Pentacles. 
and the king of pentacles. You got the queen and the king of pentacles, back to back. I think you're very cautious about letting people in your life because you've been independent for so long. Some of you guys could have been single for a really long time. You know, maybe a year or two years. And now it's like, you know, when this happens, I feel like it's all going to be fresh and new and there's going to be a lot of nerves here. Like, you're going to be in your head. Like, you're going to really like this person. You're going to really enjoy spending time with this person. And I think feelings are going to come in pretty quickly. The Two of Swords, but you're going to try to block them out. The King of Wands... I feel like you guys are just, it's like, <clears throat> when you meet somebody new, it's like you are going to be paying attention to everything <laughs> that they do and say. You're going to make sure, like, their actions align with their words, you know? It's like, you are a very loyal, kind-hearted, genuine, authentic person, and you're looking for somebody exactly like you, and this person is like that. It's just at the beginning, I feel like you guys are going to choose to see that it's not, you're going to be telling yourself, no, this is not it. I'm not falling for this again. But this person that's coming in for you is going to prove to you that they are somebody that you would, you know, there's somebody worth keeping or at least giving a chance to. The Ace of Swords, as I say that, which means I'm speaking the truth. This is somebody who's very authentic and real and honest. If you ask this person something, be prepared to get like the honest truth out of them. So, like, let's say you want to ask them a question, but it's like you're nervous about the, the answer. Maybe you might hear something you don't want to hear. Yeah, this person may be, like, straight up open and up front. The Page of Swords. Yeah, and I feel like this person is also going to be somebody that asks a lot of questions to you. Like, you know, what do you want for your future? You know, what do you want? Where do you want to live? Like, you know, this person's going to ask a lot of things about your future, because this person wants to see if you two align. Like, this person's really in, is going to enjoy your energy. And it's like they just want to learn so much more about you. They just want to get to know you more. You know, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the most beautiful person out of the whole tarot deck. Like, this person's just like, they're going to be inspired by you. Look, you even got the King and the Queen of Wands, too, as well. Like... This is a very, very, very strong soulmate energy. And the thing is that you guys resonate on so many different levels. Like the energy that you guys share, you're both very passionate. You're both very grounded. You're both um, loyal and friendly. And it's just like, and you're also guarded at the same time. Like this person's also somebody who's cautious and leery. But like when you guys get a chance to be around each other, you're going to realize like how much this person reminds you of yourself. And I feel like that's what you're doing. Is you're looking like looking for somebody who's like you. You know? And that's what you're going to get out of this person. And I do feel like there's going to be so much. Like, I feel like this could be like love at first sight right away. You have a four of wands. This could also be like a twin flame. This could also be somebody that something that leads to marriage. The death card and the moon. There, <laughs> there is a lot of fear because you've made so much trans transitions in your life so much transformation and it's just like you guys do not want to take a step backwards right you've been doing so much for yourself and you've gotten yourself to where a part to a part in your life to where it's like you're very happy with the things that you've created for yourself or going to create for yourself and you just don't want love to kind of mess it up you know sometimes love messes with us and it kind of messes up a lot of things our career our you know feelings you know throughout the day and i just don't feel like you guys are going to have to worry about this person because this person's coming in wanting all the same things that you want you know the sun they just want to be happy they want to be you know cherished loved have fun like they don't want like just to sit in a house and do nothing either this is somebody that likes to get out and enjoy time together and like go see the world Look, they're at a freaking aquarium. Or no, this is the mermaid deck. But it looks like they're an aquarium. <laughs> right? But it's like they're looking at the fish and the turtles and stuff. This person may literally have like a fish tank in their house. Or maybe they have like a turtle. Because um, there's a turtle in this one too as well. This person has learned a lot from their pets. This person is somebody who's cleaned up their life. They're not coming in with drama they're not coming in connected to any they're not attached to anything i don't even think this person is like 
Let's see what are their bad habits, okay? Let's just see. The Queen of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. This person may have an issue with kind of being a little bit too blunt and then speaking what's on their mind. But the Page of Pentacles, they're trying to work on that. They're trying to do things differently. You may consider this person a little bit like um, maybe they're younger than you or childish or maybe they're a little bit immature. Like, if somebody comes to them and says something that they don't like, this is not going to be somebody that keeps their mouth shut. They're going to speak their truth. And they may hit a low point. Like, they may <laughs> hit people where it hurts just to get people to shut up really quickly. Like, so when you get in arguments with this person, this person may say some things that hurt. But the thing is, like I said with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, like they're trying to work on doing things differently when it comes down to their communication. The communication may kind of suck. All right? The Five of Wands. That can end up in arguments. But I do feel like if you were to say something to this person, here you go with the Nine of Wands. That's a pattern up there. Is, you know, um, if you were to say something to this person, the Strength card, like they'll try to fix things up for you. They don't... This is somebody that doesn't want to lose you. And this is somebody that sees you and them just like you see them and you, you know. And it's just like, I feel like in every relationship, there's going to be some type of issues. There's going to be some type of drama or problems. Just trust that if you guys are able to work through your issues and come to a compromise or try to figure out a way to work together, you guys can make this end up being something that's like long term, I'm hearing. The devil, you have the strength card and the devil. If there's any patterns here, and I do feel like you guys are kind of keeping yourself stuck. It's like, this person's going to help free you out of this net. Okay? Out of this stuck energy. And with the three of pentacles, it's like, this is like a partner in crime. Alright? This is somebody that you can work together with and, like, create a strong foundation with. I just feel like this person, you may not like how they communicate, but do not keep it quiet when you see this person doing things that you don't like, because I feel like this is somebody who will acknowledge that they have issues and try to fix things to kind of make things better for the both of you. This is somebody that wants to keep you around, you know, and doesn't want to lose you. So I'm going to get guidance from Spirit, just one card. Ace of Pentacles. This has a lot of potential. Okay? I feel like Spirit wants you to see this as what it is and not what you're thinking it's going to be. Okay? And take your time getting to know this person. Alright? Don't rush into anything. And you have the Emperor. Strong as Aries in this reading. But, like, you will be able to handle anything that gets thrown to you. Okay? And this could also be somebody that you end up, like, if you stay in a relationship with this person like you guys can it's like you guys are both bosses or entrepreneurs or something like this and you guys are going to bring more abundance into each other's lives you guys may even like join your businesses together or create a business together the wheel of fortune and it could be a very successful um business too as well with the hermit this is somebody that you guys are not going to want to miss Okay, this is destined and fated for you. And this is somebody who is very wise. They're an old soul that's coming in. Okay, and I do feel like you guys have shared past lives together. And now it's time for you guys to start again in this lifetime. Okay, I hope this helps. I keep on seeing the Three of Pentacles. That's like my Bonnie and Clyde type card. So I don't know, but I feel like you guys are going to be like partners in crime in a way. Like if you guys get into an art, like... If something happens, like, this person's going to have your back regardless. Like, even if you're wrong. <laughs> Alright, so I hope this helps, and take care. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe. Take care. Toodles.